welcome back to testnet prep in the previous video we did see the process to get admission to the various courses of test or what is the exact paper code that you will have to take to get into the various courses of test so the link of that video would also be in the description section if you have not watched it you can check it out now many of you have asked specifically about the MHA MPH courses not only of test but of the other colleges across India so what is the exam what is the admission process and also there is a bit of confusion regarding the which paper code of CVT PG deals with which particular college of MHA MPH so there is it's a little confusing but definitely we'll try to clear all those confusion here in this particular video that is what the video is all about so we'll be talking about the various colleges or almost all the uh, good colleges of MHA, MPH, what is the exam that you'll have to take and specifically because CVT PG has many papers. So for which college you'll have to take which paper code that's very important and uh, uh, the whole list has been uh, given in the further video so watch it very carefully. Also, at the same time, just not the paper code because many of you would be starting uh, to prepare or looking to prepare for the first time. So I've also given the syllabus and the colleges through that particular paper code. So be very careful while watching this video. So let's begin. Okay. Uh, so there are four different paper codes. First of all, let's see the paper code. The first one is COQP 22. So this is a domain specific paper. When I say domain specific paper, this is a paper specifically for MHA, which deals with the basics of MHA. I'll show you the whole syllabus. So this is for MHA specifically. This is the CUET paper code for MHA. Now please hold down and make no mistake that through this paper, this is not taking admission this admission is through cat exam okay now this is again a domain specific paper code for mph but make no mistake that this is taking admission through cvt pg but not through this paper code this is for the other colleges the list of the college i'll explain in the further video the coqp 11 is a general aptitude paper code and I'll also give you the list of all the colleges that are taking admission of either MHA or MPH through this paper code. Similarly, COQP 12 is an MBA paper code. There is a good amount of colleges taking admission into MBA healthcare or typically MHA through this paper code as well. Also in the end, we'll list down further all the good or top colleges taking admission through CAT or any other exams as well. So watch the video, do not skip any part of it so that you get or you have any further confusions regarding it. Okay, let's start with COQP 22. Again, this is a domain specific paper code. Okay, so let's quickly look into its syllabus. So if you look into the syllabus, it's a typical uh, health subject paper, uh, syllabus and the topics health and diseases, health and environment, medicine and social sciences, hospital waste management, basic epidemiology and pop population health. The complete syllabus, you can look into it. I'll also put it in the description section, a link on the what's of, of our WhatsApp group. You can join there and you will get this detailed syllabus. You can also find it on the internet if you type the COQP 12 paper code. So the syllabus continues. So it's a very detailed syllabus for MHA. MHA not for TIS but for the other colleges. What are those colleges? Let's look into the syllabus. Uh, departments in hospital, engineering services, hospital management and fundamentals, material and equipment in hospital. So majorly a gist of the whole MHA that you will be studying over there. Now let's look into the list of colleges taking admission through this particular paper code which is COQP. 12. Now, this is the complete list. This is in no priority order or the top placement order. This is complete list which 
have got from the official website of CVTPG. So you can list, uh, see some uh, good universities, Amity University, Noida, and other campuses as well. Okay, uh, there is one university, University of Hyderabad, Shada University, ITM, Navi Mumbai. All these universities are taking admission in its healthcare and hospital management course. That is a typical MHA course through this paper code, which is COQP. 22 we do prepare students for that we do have a course for that where we provide study material and mocks not classes for cuqp 12 there are other paper course for which we'll have classes and complete uh, study material and mock test and everything anyway so this is the list of colleges taking admission through cuqp 22 have a look you can will provide the pdfs you can join the whatsapp group and you'll get the pdfs over there Let's look into the another paper code which is for the MPH that is COQP 19. Again, this is a domain specific paper. It basically deals with the basics of public health. Its syllabus is quite simple, but they have not given a detailed syllabus as you have seen for the MHA. It's, it may look a vague syllabus or it has included everything. So you'll have to deep down into the previous year's question paper to get to know key exactly to what extent questions are asked and what is the difficulty level of the whole paper. So this is the syllabus. This is the official syllabus. Okay. I'm not making it up. This is the official syllabus, which you can also find it out on the uh, website. Fine. This is for the MPH. Now let's look into the colleges that they take admission through this paper code, which is COQP 19. Okay. Again, you'll find University of Delhi, Dhyanan Sagar University, which is in Bangalore, ITM Mumbai, okay, JNU, JNU also has its MPH course, so University of Hyderabad, right, and many other universities, People University that is in Bangalore. This is the list of complete colleges that you can have or you can apply to through this paper code, which is COQP 19. We do provide the course material and mock test for its preparation as well. Okay. Now let's get into COQP 11 and 12, which is a general paper. So let's take into COQP 22. This is an MBA paper. So MHA typically is a management, is a combination of management and health. So many universities and college take admission to its MHA course through COQP 22. We'll look into its syllabus. That's a typical uh, MBA syllabus or an aptitude syllabus. So it's a general paper of, you may not be able to read it. This is the English section. This is the math section, logic reasoning data interpretation and let's look into the colleges that takes its admission through COQP 12 for the MHA course this is an MBA paper taking admission to master in healthcare and hospital management because they feel that it's majorly management rather than uh, to deep dive and check students ability of healthcare intensively that they may be doing in their interview rounds right so this is the list of colleges chandigarh university it's a good university you can apply for lpu swamya vidya vihar university and this is the list of the new university which is present on the official website to check the official web website it's a little tough so i've done that job for you so you get the complete idea of it now let's talk about COQP 11. This is quite similar to COQP 22. There is not much difference. I say that COQP 11 is also an aptitude paper and COQP 12 is also an aptitude paper which almost have the same syllabus. The only difference is that in COQP 12 there is no GK section and in COQP 11 there is a GK section else mass logical reasoning english comprehensions everything the syllabus is same ditto each topic at the same time the difficulty level is also same so that is why we have kept this course together in our package of the courses that we provide anyway let's look into the syllabus of general awareness or cuqp 11 so this is the syllabus of cuqp 11 the english syllabus majorly as in any aptitude exam, reading comprehensions, para general grammar, para sentence, para correction, and so on. Again, as I said, that you have 
general knowledge and awareness here so <clears throat> very standard uh, easy to medium difficulty level GK is being asked from each of the topic less weightage on current affairs and also you also add a computer basics of computer in this particular paper for what reason we don't know but they do ask sufficient questions of computer basics as well and again the aptitude logical reasoning and let's look into it let's look into the colleges that take admission through cuqp 11 now this you can see that this has three mph courses se ma hpef and ha all the courses admission is through this particular general paper that is cuqp 11 so many a time student get confused that this admission cvt pg ke through hota hai but kaun se paper ke through hota because normally when they do a search on the internet CVT PG MPH usually COQP 19 paper code comes up but you'll have to be very careful that this MPH ka admission hai, that is through COQP 11 paper code also Sharda University's ka MPH course hai, community health or many other courses its admission is also through COQP 11 now also the good part is that the test has increased good number of seats uh, you know this year and they may increase further year also if you combine all the <coughs> three courses of uh, mph this is roughly around now 130 plus seats so which is quite a good number of seats the competition is uh, you know i would never say it's very easy and also not very difficult it's a moderate preparation anybody who is serious about to get into this MPH if start preparing from now onwards definitely one can get into it to give you a rough idea about the cutoffs of this MPH courses so this is a 300 marks paper 300 marks paper so usually the cutoff is or this year the cutoff was around I'm talking of the general category it was between 175 to 185 okay but again you'll have to be in a very safe side and try must that you have a score at least 225 plus so that you don't have to be completely dependent on interview for your admission right after this phase there is a interview process as well now let's look into the all the other mha courses or mba healthcare courses top colleges across India and uh, what are the exams that you will have to take so I have listed this out first first of all Nursi Monji ka <coughs> MBA pharmaceutical management the exam that you will have to take is NMAT another is that they have recently introduced MBA healthcare management this is a profile based shortlisting because they have recently introduced they still now they have not updated that you know they will take NMAT or not but it's a profile based shortlisting it's a new course for them another very good college is uh, college Willinka school of <coughs> Willinka school PGDM in healthcare management it takes admission through all these exams so let's say in case you have missed CAT you can still take that you can take ATMA you can take CMAT or GMAT you know if needed or if you can do that but even if these comparatively easier exams will get you through the Wellington School of Health Management now Goa Institute of Management one another very good college of PGDM that is healthcare management it has its own exam the good part is that it also has its achiever round that is a profile based shortlisting CAT of course ZAT and CMAT so CMAT is comparatively an easier exam so majorly medicos take up this exam BDS, BHMS, BMS or nursing or you know phys uh, phys BPT students take up this paper so they find CAT or ZAT comparatively a tougher exam because they have been out of touch with mass for a long time so uh, and doing the preparation of CAT becomes real tough for them anyway these two IMs have started their uh, healthcare 
MBA HANHM that is healthcare administration or hospital management so that is of course it's an IAM so it will take admission through CAT so if you have filled up the CAT form you have these opportunity if you have not filled up you have these opportunity as well right KJ Sumaya very good college its admission is through all these exams again if you see that you can take CMAT you can take NMAT these are easy exams that you can prepare we do have the course for the same including CVT, PG and CMAT course this is a club course anyway IHMR it has its own exam that is again a very good college for uh, hospital and healthcare management and there are further co courses as well I have listed it down you can check it it has its own course but it also takes admission through all the exams even CMAT, ADMA, GPAT which is quite an aptitude exam so if you are preparing for an aptitude exam you can apply for IHMR this now from this year this is taking admission through CAT so this is the change so do not think that test ka admission CVT PG se hoga or CVT PG ke paper aapko dene honge nahi test ka admission sirf or sirf ab CAT se hoga now Symbiosis Institute of Health Sciences again a very good institute of Symbi <coughs> Symbi family so its admission is through SNAP MBA in hospital and healthcare management again a very good institute you can prepare well this is not a tough paper the cutoff for this particular course will go it's not a very high cutoff course see the reason is not because it's not a good college the reason is that it has a qualified competition its, co its competition is among medicals and among those medicals who are genuinely preparing for it right so that is why the cutoff is low because it has a selected audience for it so that's uh, pretty much for this we do have the course for the same that you know let's say if you want to prepare for CVT PG for <coughs> test it's well very affordable at six triple nine the full course is there where you get live classes recorded course mock test and 24 into 7 doubts you can check it on the website the link is there in the description section if you want to talk discuss anything regarding your preparation of the courses you can contact us the link or the number you must be seeing over there also we have a club course so let's say you want to apply for all the MHA colleges that we have seen right now so CVT PG CMAT SNAP the club course fees is 799 okay so you, you can choose this as well because there is not much of a price difference and you can prepare and see what all the options that you can have right now one more thing the timeline of it timeline we are basically talking about the exams of CVT PG CVT PG is usually in February end or March first half Feb to March first half in 2025 we'll be having it now in 2025 CMAT will be in May CAT we all know that it's going to be in 24th of November 2024 so you don't have much time for CAT also the forms are uh, the deadlines have crossed SNAP you do have this exam is by December 2nd half December 2024 second half uh, again NMAT there are slots and to again you know by December and you can still take it up okay the exact dates I do not have the count of it so these are the exams and even if you start preparing for now you have ample time that you can prepare well for it also our course is uh, well uh, suited for non medicals uh, so, uh, for you know non engineers and uh, specifically for medicals so we go from very basics and fundamentals so that each one of the students are able to catch it up okay that's pretty much any doubt further even if you have you can put it in the comment section we do reply to your comments you can give us a call if you are interested in the course or if you have any query regarding the preparation or doubts make sure that you're watching it properly you're not skipping this video hope this helps tell us what further information that you want we'll put up in the next video